Hey, welcome to the ground instruction for exercise 20 from the flight training manual, which is all about illusions created by drift. Perception of the world is a bit different in an airplane due to the forces being enacted upon you from the body of air your plane is resting in. So let's take a look at why, because this is something that can make you go, whoa. So imagine here we are flying about 100 knots indicated and flying closer to the ground. Flying closer to the ground changes a pilot's perspective due to the perception of moving faster along the earth below. In situations of heavy wind, powerful illusions may arise regarding the aircraft's actual airspeed. Knowing how the drift caused by heavy winds can create illusions will help pilots avoid dangerous situations which might arise from an improper reaction to an illusion. First, let's look at what could arise from turning away from a strong headwind. Slipping to the inside of a turn. So as you turn away from a strong headwind, you're gonna get yourself into a situation where you have a tailwind and it's gonna look like you're slipping to the inside of the turn. Resist the urge to add outside rudder because that will put you in a slip. Glance at the ball during your scan and keep it centered, but keep your, keep your eyes out and you may have to decrease your bank angle and crab towards the wind. Of course, you're probably also gonna get the illusion of increasing airspeed, which is gonna make you feel like you're going faster than you actually are, even though your ground speed is the only thing that's increased. So resist the urge to decrease your airspeed as that could put you into a slower flight condition than you're supposed to be flying in. And just glance at the airspeed indicator during your scan, keep it on the desired airspeed. Now let's take a look at what it looks like when you turn into a strong headwind. Turning into a strong headwind might give you the illusion that you're skinning towards the outside of the turn. So resist the urge to add inside rudder. Glance at the ball if you have to during your scan and keep it centered. And you might need to increase your bank angle to turn at the same rate as in a no wind condition. It's also going to likely give you the illusion of decreasing airspeed. If you are in a descent, you might need to add power to check your descent rate when flying into a strong headwind because your ground speed will have changed. Look at the airspeed indicator during your scan and keep it on the desired airspeed and adjust your power accordingly. Here are a few review questions for you. As always, take a look through them and if you have any questions, just bring them to your next flight lesson.